back moms it's Heidi and other people who may be watching this <laughs> um, I am trying something new today and tonight this is my third try doing it today so a little bit bear with me but um, um as you may or may not know I'm I live here in Mukilteo and I have a business called Revive. It's backwards in your camera, I apologize. It's just the way the Facebook Live works. But um, anyway, I upcycle furniture and home decor. And I often get asked how um, to paint and stain, um, particularly with chalk paint or chalk style paint. And um, I thought I would answer some of those questions. Um, by demonstrating it on a piece. And uh, this piece of furniture here is actually one of um, our very own Muck Moms, Mandy. I won't say her last name, but she is on here. And um, I did a segment earlier today on how to um, stain. And I've had been having some tec technical difficulties, so I'm gonna re-record that and post it on my Facebook page later for you to watch. Um, um, but basically that's gone over the staining part. So I'm gonna jump ahead to the painting part right now and we'll go back in another post and do the staining part. So um, anyway, um, if you're watching and um, have questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them as we go along. If not, I will answer them at the end of this uh, broadcast. So um, if you're there, say hello. I'd love to see who's on. Um, I see I have a couple of watchers. Um, and uh, we'll get started. So um, I hope the, the uh, camera is a little bit better positioned this time. Um, so this is a coffee table and I just stained the top in a walnut and um, the bottom my client wants to have it um, painted in white chalk paint. So let me just quickly go over how I prepped it because that's gonna be really important for um, getting good results. So the very, very, there are two things that you need to do to prep wood before you paint it with chalk style paint. And um, it's a very common misconception that uh, chalk paint means no prep, but it just means no sanding. It doesn't mean no prep. So the first thing you need to do to prep that piece is clean it. Um, paint and stain don't adhere well to dirt, and so uh, thorough cleaning is always, always imperative to um, getting your paint to stick. And um, not just any cleaner, you're going to want... Um, not Windex, not household cleaner, not essential oils, anything like that. Um, you want to use uh, TSP. Uh, TSP is uh, short for trisodium phosphate, and um, it's just something you can get at Home Depot or Ace Hardware. And you just, it's a powder, and you just mix it with some lukewarm water and mix it up into uh, a water bottle, and you want to just Take this TSP formula, according to directions, along with some paper towels and clean the, the piece thoroughly. You will be <laughs> amazed at what comes off. Um, not only some of the, the tannins and, and leftover stain will come off, but it's a degreaser, so it will take any gunk off. Um, and if any of you end up doing kitchen cabinets or anything like that, that is what... When you buy a kit and they have you degrease, it's called degreaser, that is actually what you're using. Um, so save yourself the expensive kit and just buy some of this stuff for like three bucks and your paint, of course, and uh, there, I just saved you 70 bucks. <laughs> so um, clean it first, let it dry. And then the next thing that is also very, very important is sealing your wood. Um, so if you're gonna paint a piece of wood with, um, chalk steel paint, especially if it's a light color um, and you don't seal it, you're going to get tannins and leftover stain that's going to seep up through the paint and leave what looks like a watermark. And no matter how many coats of paint you put on, like I remember doing this before I even knew how to do this, like three or four coats of paint later, I still have this 
brown stuff coming and bubbling to the top and I just couldn't get rid of it. So I learned this trick and um, um, it's very, very simple and cheap too. And what you're gonna want to do is get some shellac. I use Zinzer. You can just see what that is, Zinzer shellac. Um, and you're gonna wanna use, you can use any, any old brush. Um, and just paint it on. So I obviously, it's a clear, you wanna use a clear type. I just go through and went through and covered the entire bottom with uh, shellac. And I let that dry, it doesn't take very long to dry. Uh, you just need one coat and you should be good to go. Now if you wanna like absolutely, absolutely make sure you don't get any bleed through, um, like if you're not gonna do any kind of distressing and you really want it to be a very, um, clean look, looking white. You can also do um, one coat of Bonder and um, like um, Kills, like Joanna Gaines uses, Kills a Bonder, Bonder primer and sealer. <laughs> um, and uh, do a coat of that first and then do chalk style paint on the top. For this piece, um, I am gonna skip that step because I'm gonna do a little bit of dis distressing and I, I want the wood to come sh uh, show through on the, the, on the where I distress it. So I'm gonna skip that step. But, um, okay, so once your piece is prepped, let's see. Um, say hello if you're out there. Um, I use um, a specialty chalk style paint called Designer in You. It's a designer in you. I said that too fast. I'll show you what it looks like. And you can order this through me. It is really super good chalk paint or chalk style paint. It's actually acrylic based. Um, and it's got really like, a, it goes a long way. And it covers, the coverage is excellent. It doesn't sneak, stink. Like some of the chalk style paints you'll get, um, at Michael's or Home Depot or Home Depot or Hobby Lobby smell like, um, I don't know, it smells like dead seashells because that's actually what it is. There's uh, either calcium carbonate, which is what like, um, uh, oh, brain work, um, mollusks and they crushed up shells and stuff. They're in those shells and it smells like that. Um, this doesn't have that smell, um, but it, it does cover really, really well. Um, and it, this particular brand comes in 40 different colors and she can color match any color that you want. So, um, fabulous. Um, so you're gonna want paint and you're gonna want a good brush. Um, I use, you can use a regular old brush, absolutely, just like this, except this one has paint on it, so don't use this one. <laughs> but. Um, I use specialty brushes. Again, you can get these at Michael's or you can get them um, through my affiliate link uh, in Designer New Paints as well. Um, they're gonna be a little cheaper through me than, than unless you get a coupon at Hobby Lobby or whatever. But um, these are fabulous brushes and the reason I like to use them is because they're round and um, they're angled at the top. So I can really get into the, the crevices and um, they have really good coverage and the bristles are super, super thick. Um, so you get good coverage. Um, and the paint, go it's really good for chalk style paints. Um, what else? Um, I think that's it. Oh, one, um, which, with chalk style paint, less is more. And I, I always recommend going, um, a light coat, instead of putting it on really, really thick, um, do a once over, um, don't make it too thick, and then you're gonna wanna go over a second time, a uh, second time again, and sometimes a third coat, but I, I find that usually two coats um, works just fine. So I'm gonna start with the smaller brush, <clears throat> excuse me, and work on the, the cracks and crevices first. Um, I hope you can see this. It's a little difficult to see. So what I might do, I might move the camera a little bit um, up to the ground so you guys can see a little bit closer. 
Um, oh, also, um, you'll always want to stir your paint um, rather than just relying on shaking it because with, um, again, chalk style paints, there's um, minerals in there or mineral, mineral paint um, and sometimes they can settle at the bottom so it's really a good idea to take and stir it really, really well. And I just buy these popsicle sticks at the dollar store for like 50 for a buck, so, all right. Okay, so 